All right, so on the way to Bass Pro Shop, gonna go get some baits for Saturday's BFL tournament on Toledo Band. I got a gift card I gotta use. I figured, let's go use it up. It's a little bit far for me, like 40 minutes, but uh, let's see what we find. So let's go check it out. Got some. I uh, actually stopped at Academy too and got some tungsten weights. I was running low and I didn't have a chance to order online. Getting here on time for for Saturday. That was my fault. But uh, let's see, man. I love these tournament series plastics. You guys know I love these. So let's see what I can. Find. This one's inside, so it's all nice and shiny. Nice boat. So, I'm looking to get a boat. Can't leave without checking out the fish, of course. Huge slabs. There's a bass. Oh, there's some bass right there. Oh, it's hard to tell with the light, but pretty nice bass. You guys catch a couple of those on Saturday. Okay, guys, so it's time to go. My wife is hungry. Pretty hungry myself. <laughs> so, uh, hey, maybe I'll show you a little bit of. She wants to go to this. I don't know where she wants to go. This place. So, let's go check it out. So, we're out here. Just got a few things. I will show you guys here in a bit. All right, guys. So, I'm back home, and let me show you guys the stuff I got. I had ordered. Um, I ordered my hooks on time. I got some some trapper hooks, and I ordered those on time, and I I, I got them on time, but it was it was kind of close. I just got them the other day, and. I have Toledo Bend on Saturday for the VFL tournament, like I said. And so let me just show you what I got. And I, I still got a bunch of hooks, but I needed to restock on these are three odd extra heavy. So this is a 25 pack, and then I got another five pack and another five pack. They're all three odd extra heavy. This is the hook that I probably use the most, honestly. I use it. Pretty much like for all my Texas rigs, um, and I use it a lot. I use, I love throwing Texas rig, and I, I use it a lot. So I needed to, uh, you know, put some more there in in my stock. I had I was down to maybe like five of them. So I'm like, okay, I need to restock. So I figured, you know, 35 more should be good <laughs> for a while, and then you know I'll I'll order more when I need some. Um, now I do have a partnership with Wu Tungsten, and unfortunately. By the time I got to that, it was just it was just gonna be too late, and I was scared it wasn't gonna be here on time. And I still have some of their tungsten. I still have pretty good amount actually, but you know, I was I was running a little bit low on certain ones, and and I needed to get some other ones, and so 
I had to run to Academy and just get, like, all, all I got was two, right? So I got some, some tungsten weights here. This is, uh, I got a 3 8 and a 3 16 So I had to load up on those. Like I said, I still have some, but uh, just in case, just in case, this last time on, on Rayburn, we're flipping and pitching a lot, and I wasn't really prepared to, to do that. And my line was, the heaviest line I had was 20. It would have been nice I was throwing, like, 25 or braid, and, I didn't have none of that on on my reel, so I lost I lost a lot of setups. I lost a lot of tungsten. So, you know, just to fill up the, the box a little bit more, just in case. And then uh, let me show you what I got from Bass Pro Shop. It's it's not a whole lot, but I had this gift card that I man that I had for a while, and I was like, man, I gotta use this. And it was the same thing with them. I usually order online because it's so far away, as I explained to you guys here in the video. It took me literally like an hour to get there. The traffic was just horrible. Horrendous on the way over there. Horrendous on the way back. It's just like, it just gets you like exhausted. Have you guys ever been in Houston traffic? It's, the only thing I can compare to is I've been in LA traffic and it's like, no, it's just miserable. So it was, it was bad. It was like an all day thing to go for like a couple of stuff. It's like, you know, but, but like I tell you, it just, that's my fault because I didn't order this stuff early enough you know life gets in the way and next thing i know oh man i didn't order it so that it's on me it's my fault so let me show you real quick um i got this xps popping kermy top water it's all black it's got the red eyes and it's all black black belly everything so i got that one there you go see the reflection kind of messes it up but so i got that one and then i got um i never tried these before this will be your first. These are the KVD Perfect Plastics. Actually, I have tried his swim baits, but I've never tried these. These are the rodents, and this is in the blue bug color. So there you go. I haven't tried these. I figured I'd give them a try. If we're going to go flipping again or whatever, I'd like to give these a try. So I got I got one of those. I got, um, and this is the other thing, too. Like, y'all know, know I love the Rage Tail. So this is a Rage Crawl. I love these some Rage Crawls. And I love this color. This color is probably the hardest color that that's hard to find, at least around here. I don't know why. Like, Academy never carries it. And Bass Pro Shop does. But sure enough, today when I went, this was the last one on the shelf. I really wanted to load up on these just so I can, you know, have some for the future. And there was only one freaking package left. And I asked the guy, and he's like, Whatever I got on the shelf, that's that's what we have left. So I was like, man, come on. But anyways, it's, <laughs> that's the way it goes, guys. But this Falcon Lake uh, color, man, I love it. It's it's it does it's just been so good to me. In all sorts of water, dingy water, you know. Uh, I wouldn't say clear, clear water, but a little bit clear water. We don't have that much of clear water down here in Houston, but it's been good in clear enough water and some pretty murky, dirty, dingy water. So. I love these. Fortunately, like I said, one pack. So I don't know. Maybe we'll stop at Tackle Attic on the way up there on Friday, and may maybe they'll. Have, but even when I go there, they, I guess people love this color. And last time, I've, the last two three times I've been there, they're out of these two. Like it's just, I need, I need to just go online and order like fifty packs of these. <laughs> so I did get another color that I hadn't seen. Um, and it's the same thing, another Rage Crawl. But I hadn't seen this color. This is the Green Pumpkin Pro. And I really like it. I, I like, I used to throw um, a Crack Crawl in, in the Bass Pro Shop Tournament Series. And I haven't thrown it in a while, but it used to have, it used to be a color like this. And it's kind of got that green pumpkin on top and the Pro on the bottom. And that color always had really, really good, uh, good bites on that. So I figured, hey, I hadn't seen this in the Rage Crawl. And I thought, well, you know, let me get this color. This might be good. And this was the last package they had too. So <laughs> I don't know, man. It was just a bad day, maybe. Maybe I should have gone to the other Bass Pro Shop. I checked online to see the availability, and and they said they had it in stock. But yeah, you know, whatever. It is what it is. It's too late now. Now uh, I did get some of these. These are called Shaddy Shaddy Shad. Like I said, this is a tournament series. I love the stuff. I love the best Pro Shop plastics. I've always liked them, man. They're just, I don't know what it is about them. The plastic's so good. The, the quality's so good. I love those. You guys know I love those stickos. 
I throw those crack crawls, um, their swim baits. Man, they just, I don't know, they just, I think they do such a great job. And these are actually, these were recommended by Bro. <laughs> That's Bass Ranger Outdoors. So check out, right here guys, Bass Ranger Outdoors. Go check out his channel. Super cool guy. He's been fishing with these lately on uh, in Arizona on some lakes. I can't remember the name. I think one, one lake was Roosevelt Lake and... I think the main one was Roosevelt Lake, I want to say. But anyways, um, man, he was killing them on these. And I've never tried these before. And on his video, he said, you know, he bought them there and he got the, the, the open pour one. So there's other ones where I guess it's just like the mold. And then this is like the open pour ones that are a little bit softer. So, uh, hey, man, thanks for your recommendation. I went ahead and, and, and got some. I can't wait to try them out. So, um, they, you know, they're a little bit different. It's kind of, you know, it's just a fluke fluke but they're a little bit different uh in that open pour the top's kind of like flat you know and and it seems like they're just a little bit softer so i'll see if you guys can see kind of so this is the um, the white ice color all right so i got the white ice and then i got the and i think he was throwing one of these too and i was like i gotta just try them i gotta try them because i know how good the these plastics are and when he was I actually sent him a message and I was like, man, I love the Bass Pro Shop Tournament Series plastics. And, and he was like, yeah, you know, he was, he was killing it. I'm telling you, man, he caught some good fish. Go check out his videos. I'll, I'll put a link down in the description below. Really cool videos he makes. Guys, he's out there with his wife and his kid. And they were, they were, just, they were just killing him. So this is the sexy shad color. Yeah. Sexy, sexy, sexy shad. There you go. You can see kind of the little chartreuse stripe, blue stripe, and then the white on the bottom. So, uh, yeah, man. Thank, hey, thanks, man. I, you know, I, I, I had never seen these. So once I started the video, I was like, man, I want to try them. I'm not, I'm not a big fluke type kind of guy, but what really caught my attention was the open pour. You know, and like how you said, it's, it's, it's a little bit softer. It has a little bit different action. And like I tell you, I know with like the stickos, which are the stick baits they make, Man, they have their their action is so good compared to other ones. I just prefer them because it has that different action. So when you mentioned that, you mentioned the open pour, I was like, you know what? I gotta try these. So thanks for letting me know about these uh, guys. I'll link his channel down below. Like I said, check him out. You can check out his video. He was killing them on these. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's pretty much it. Not a whole lot of stuff. I don't want to make this. Uh, man, it's already going like a nine minutes plus whatever I had in the beginning. So that's it, guys. Um, like I said, I'm going to Toledo Bend. We leave Friday, tournament Saturday. I'm going to I'm gonna probably film it this time. You know, I, I filmed it last year, and it had, it had pretty pretty good response, pretty good views. So I'm going to probably go ahead and film it. I might get a chance to go fishing tomorrow. Tomorrow I might film that, too. Today is Tuesday night, so um, we'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for all your support. Remember, uh, if, you had, if you haven't subscribed, click that right there. Hit the subscribe button, subscribe, hit the little bell so you get the notifications also. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate everything. See y'all next time. Go out there and catch some fish.